Good morning and welcome to Wake Up with Marcy and Hillary, a talk show with heart. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm Marcy. I'm Hillary. We are so excited to be here with you today. So let's hear about our amazing guests. We have a lineup of incredible guests who will share their journeys of empowerment, purpose, and making a difference in the world. First, we meet Dr. Brooke Scheller, author of the groundbreaking book, How to Eat to Change How You Drink. Dr. Brooke Scheller is a doctor of clinical nutrition with a passion for helping individuals heal from alcohol addiction using the power of nutrition. She will share her expertise and provide valuable insights on how nutrition can play a crucial role in the healing process from alcohol addiction. And next, we have a phenomenal guest joining us, Sir James Gray Robinson, the CEO of Awakening Mastery and a renowned healer and coach. Get ready for an insightful and enlightening conversation as we dive into the making of the blockbuster new documentary, Beyond Physical Matter. Sir James Gray shares with us how this film will help to unlock the audience's personal gifts and will lead them to success, ultimately affecting the collective energy on our planet. We will then share a recap of the Break Free Foundation runway show that took place during New York City's Fashion Week and the Foundation Advocates to end the stigma of mental health, co-occurring disorders, and substance use disorders for those to and through recovery. Wake Up's very own Marcy Walk the Runway for this amazing cause. So exciting. It you were great. Great, great cause. Finally, we learned the power of finding our voice with the multi-talented Barty Toto. She's a New York Times best-selling author, nurse, and social media expert. Barty will teach us the power of asking, overcoming fear, and pursuing our true desires in life. Joining us now is Dr. Brooke Scheller. She's a doctor of clinical nutrition and author of How to Eat to Change How You Drink. Welcome to the show, Brooke. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So it's so fascinating that what we eat can actually affect how we drink alcohol. How is that? Yeah, so it's such a great question. I wrote this book after going through my own journey and experience in eliminating alcohol from my lifestyle. And I'm a doctor of clinical nutrition. And my question as a scientist is always why? Why does the body crave the foods that we crave, crave the drinks that we crave. And so it really became my mission when I quit drinking to understand more about how the body reacts to alcohol, why we crave alcohol, and then how to use food and nutrition and supplements to help support that journey and use it as another tool to support us in, in making these really sometimes challenging changes. So what are the nutrition and supplemental tips that you can provide us for actually lowering those alcohol cravings? Yeah, so this is a big part of the book. One of the things that I talk about as key is increasing protein content and stabilizing mm. blood sugar throughout the yeah. day. Oftentimes when people start to experience alcohol cravings, what they're really experiencing is low blood sugar. And especially people who have a heavier alcohol use history, we can have a tendency to tend more toward these periods of low blood sugar that can manifest as cravings, not only for alcohol, but also for sugar, which is another part of the reason why when people eliminate alcohol, they get these more extreme sugar cravings. So let's talk about that. Why is that? What is the link exactly? Yeah, so there's two things. And one of the things that's more broadly spoken about is how alcohol affects dopamine and how sugar also affects dopamine. And we get this kind of hit of pleasure from both of them. But the other big connection here too, again, is blood sugar. And because alcohol affects how our body releases some of the hormones that stabilize blood sugar, when we eliminate it from our, our lifestyle, we still have these fluctuations in blood sugar that we then are looking to manage through other means. And oftentimes that is in sugar. And so using something like protein increasing protein content throughout the day, having protein at breakfast, making sure that you're having consistent snacks and meals throughout the day can really be game changing, especially in the afternoon where most people struggle uh, after a long work day or, or at that 5 p.m. time frame. 
Are there other uh, alcohol recovery tools and programs that you also suggest? Yeah, so I'm a huge proponent of getting involved in community, whatever that looks like. So, you know, historically for a lot of people that looked like programs like AA, but now there are so many others out there that are not only working with people to go completely alcohol free, but support people who are sober curious. My company, Functional Sobriety, offers online community courses and education that actually looks at sobriety or alcohol reduction through the lens of health and nutrition. So so let's talk about all of these non-alcoholic beverages that are out there. I mean, there is just a slew of them And now. they have a ton of sugar in them. And they do. Mm -hmm. So how can we choose which one is best for us and for our health? Yeah, so great question. And sugar is the one thing that you want to watch out for with these. A lot of them end up having 15 or 20 grams of sugar in them, which is fairly significant. You're starting to get closer towards something like a soda. So in my book, we actually have some recipes for drinks, but I recommend even simple ways to combine fruit and herbs and club soda or seltzer to make these kind of unique um, and flavorful beverages that can actually provide health benefits. So something like my grapefruit and rosemary that you mix together with some seltzer, not only is that tasty and delicious, but grapefruit is really good for the liver, which is something that we are looking to heal when we are in, in alcohol oh, recovery. Yeah, and rosemary really has a lot of those similar benefits too. So yeah, it's about yeah. combining foods in a very specific way, in a functional way, so that we can support alcohol reduction, but also helping our body heal from alcohol through food as well. Well, I love it. I wanted grapefruit juice when I was getting sober <laughs> in the beginning. So I was helping myself and didn't even know it. So tell us, where can we find you? I mean, there's just so many more questions around this and uh, thank you for the work you're doing, but where can we go to find more? Thank you so much. So the book is called How to Eat to Change How You Drink, and it talks through a lot of these principles and also things like how alcohol affects the gut, the brain, our hormones, and then how to use food and supplements and wellness to heal those areas. So you can definitely check out the book. You can also learn more about me and my programs at functionalsobriety.com. All right. Thank you. Uh, it was wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Nutrition and how it plays a role. In I, everything. In everything. In everything. Right. Really, so, really interesting. So, yes, thank, thank you thank again. You. Thanks so much for having me. Thrilled to be here today. All right. Bye-bye. After the break, we speak with Sir James Gray Robinson, the CEO of Awakening Mastery. Get ready for an insightful and enlightening conversation as we dive into the making of the blockbuster new documentary, Beyond Physical Matter. Next, we share a recap of the Break Free Foundation runway show that took place during New York's Fashion Week. Wake up, our very own Marcy was there and she walked the runway for this amazing cause. Plus, New York Times bestselling author, nurse, and social media expert, Barty Toto, teaches us about the power of asking. We now sit down with Sir James Gray Robinson, author, filmmaker, a widely recognized healer, coach, and the CEO of Awakening Mastery. Welcome to the show. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. It's oh, fantastic to have you. We love these conversations. Well, it's uh, <laughs> something that I've been working on all my life, and to be able to come out and share the message is really, really important. And you okay. have an incredible message, and you just had a blockbuster new documentary come out, Beyond Physical Matter. So can you share with us about the film, and what was your role in it? Well, I was the executive producer. That usually means you're the one that are writing the checks. <laughs> but I was also a co-starred in it. Uh -huh. um, what this movie is about is about quantum energy and how people are using their minds to create their own reality. And we have 15 of the best and brightest, most successful people on the planet talking about how quantum energy and their understanding and their application of it to what they were doing just completely changed their lives. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many technological advances in medicine now that are based on quantum energy, things like light and sound and 
energy is being, uh, we're just starting to scratch the surface of how this energy is interacting with us and if we understand how to use it, how we can use it to change our reality. We have a lot of the people that were in the movie The Secret uh, are in this movie as well, so they've got an amazing insight into how all this comes together. Yeah. How does energy actually change and how can we leverage it with our mindset? We are always giving off energy and we're always uh, receiving energy. I mean, the world is energy. Yeah. Albert Einstein in quantum physics has explained to us that this really isn't solid. It's just a little slower energy than air. So it's, you know, when we get down to the very, very nanoparticles of the universe, it all depends on how fast those things are vibrating. And what they've discovered is, is that our thoughts can actually change the way things interact with each other because we're putting off brain waves where, you know, we can actually affect matter. And that's why we named the movie Beyond Physical Matter is because what we think, how we think, mm -hmm. uh, the neuroplasticity of our brain can actually change physical matter. And so it's interviews with 15 people who are using this on a daily basis to become, you know, immensely wealthy or immensely successful and to change people's lives to the better. Can you share with us a few of those people? Well, John Asaraf, who's really uh, the leader of personal growth development. Uh, Joe Vitale, who I think has 80-some books now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, got a number of movies that he's done to help in the personal growth area. Uh, Marie Diamond, who was one of the principal stars in The Secret, who is a feng shui expert. Uh, that's an example of how we can use our understanding of matter to actually change our life because depending on how you put your environment around you, you can actually change what the effect so and the result is. It's incredible. And yes. you bring all these experts together. What is your, if I could say, what's the number one goal that you're trying to do with the impact of this movie? Well, I want people to take uh, charge of their life. I mean, so many of us have this victim mentality that life happens to us. Mm -hmm. And we don't understand that in reality or that in truth, we can we control everything. And whether we know it or not, it's whether it's subconsciously or consciously, we can actually change how people around us treat us. We can change how successful we are in the business world. And we can change our health. Yeah. That's one of the big components of this movie is that we can actually heal ourselves in an instant if we know how to do it's it. It's absolutely incredible that this is possible. And this show is actually, you have a red carpet event and we can see the film today. So can you tell us how we can see it? Well, we have a link for people to get a ticket. This will, you will be able to watch the entire movie. Um, you also can participate in a roundtable discussion by the cast and the uh, producers about what the movie means and how it impacts mm -hmm. people's lives. So it's a really amazing event that will be um, live streamed on t at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Well, wow. we have it up on the screen so people know where to go. and. It's been amazing having you on. It's yeah, just and keep doing what you're doing because these movies need to be made, and I know you've got a lot of other projects going on. So Absolutely. Thank Next you. time you come on, because you'll be back, you can share more with us. So I'd it's been incredible having you on, and this work is phenomenal. So thank you. Well, I just want everybody to realize that they do have a say in what happens to them, yes. and they are very powerful beings. As one person said, if people understood how powerful they were, we would not have any suffering in this planet. Amazing. What a so great thank you way again. to end this. Thank yes, you. absolutely. Thank you again, James. Thank you. So a few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of walking the red carpet with a purpose. 
during New York Fashion Week wearing designer lady cat clothing by Alexandra Neiman, the founder of the Break Free Foundation, which we had her on the show. She was fantastic in her cause, mixing fashion with recovery. I know. It is so, amazing. It's so um, important. The event and foundation advocates to end the stigma of mental health, co-occurring disorders, and substance use disorders for those too and through recovery. And the best part is they provide those who lack funds to seek inpatient and outpatient services. You know Scholar about this. Scholarships. Right. And the amount, the money that was actually raised that night right. goes to those scholarships to help people, which is, you know, a lot of people don't have the funds. Let me tell you, there's, it costs recovery. so much money to go into recovery. So to yeah. think that the Breakthrough Foundation is offering support. Mm -hmm. It's and such a unique idea what it she is. did. Exactly. Mixing fashion, right. recovery, and you looked so good Thank as you, you were as you were dressed all to the nines with the outfit and you know, really well, supporting the cause. It was wonderful. Alexandra, she she started the foundation, she puts on this event and she's the designer, one of the designers, which wow. is what I was wearing. So it is amazing, great, amazing great work. So it was such an honor to be a part of it. Up next, we learn about the power of asking with New York Times bestselling author, Barty Toto. Joining us now is Barty Toto, author of the book, The Power of Asking, Disrupt Your Brand, and kids for gratitude. Barty is known worldwide for her passion for asking and gratitude. Barty, it's so good to have you here. Barty, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here today. And I just had to tell you the power of asking that Barty reached out to me on LinkedIn and that's how we are here together. So. I was actually very inspired by how you help women. Oh, Aw, thank you yeah. so much. It's so good. And the same that, same as you. And we also have some other things in common. So can you share with us how, you know, growing up in a home with alcoholism, which is really hard, I've been there, and also being raised as a child that was meant to be seen and not heard, which you hear that a lot. How did that impact your development and ability to find your own voice in adulthood? Well, I have to tell you, um, I was raised in an alcohol family. You know, my mother was like mommy dearest, very unpredictable. I also had a father who was an alcoholic. Uh, the problem with him was he was very encouraging. He was like, I believe in you. You can do anything you put your mind to. But every time I walked into his office, it was not now later, not now later. And, you know, growing up, that does a number on a child where you feel like, well, nothing I say matters. And then, of course, being dyslexic, you know, I go into class and I raise my hand and I was never called on. So what does that do to you? Mm. So the combination of, you know, children were to be seen, not heard. And then of course, you know, other atmosphere, um, or pardon me, like school and, and other places breeds a foundation where it's like, why bother? Why try? And growing up in an alcoholic home is very abusive. You know, every day I was told I'd never amount to anything. I was constantly compared to my cousins. Um, you know, these are physics and doctors and chemists. And it's like, well, you have dyslexic. You're never going to amount to anything. You may as well just give up. So what did I do? I went out and got three degrees and I still wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. And then I literally became a nurse because I figured, you know, help other people and it just really caused a lot of anxiety depression and an adulthood you know afraid of asking and it wasn't believe it or not until 2005 until i learned i had a voice uh mm. and which was not so long ago barbie tell us how are you utilizing your voice right now to empower others in pursuing their own goals and why is this mission of helping others 
so significant to you right now? The foundation of my business and my life is gratitude. I was determined that I am not going to be a product of my past or my circumstances. That, you know, um, we can't allow our past or our circumstances to dictate our future. And I realized I had a voice uh, back in 2005, something happened to one of my children and I had to contact the military and they said 20 months to get medical records. And literally overnight, I got those medical records because I asked and I said, there's something you know, to asking. And believe it or not, asking is a form of gratitude. When you ask, you're allowing somebody to give back to you. And that's very important to me. So now what I do is I teach people all over the world how to implement gratitude you know, into their life, into their brand, but also I help women ask for what they want in life. Because so many women, um, I feel that we settle or we you know, um, avoid conflict at all costs. I'm talking you know, from my experience, or we just, um, you know, say, why bother? Why, you know, why should we even try? What if it doesn't work? Because Absolutely. I think that's how, I mean, we're raised a lot. And, and just like you're talking about to be seen and not heard, we weren't really given a voice. So it's incredible how strong you have become. And you share multiple ways of helping others to live in their happiness and change their negative thinking, which is very easy to do, have that negative thinking and negative patterns. So can you share with our audience what they can do immediately to change this online and offline? Because both are very important. Yeah. One is to surround yourself with people who uplift you. And if it means blocking family members and walking away from them, then by God do so because this is your sanity. You know, we only have one life and I surround myself with people, you know, that, you know, do lift me up. And also I listen to something every day that's positive because I was told negative things every day, my whole life, you know, even though I'm an adult now, I still have to listen to positive things. And I say to myself, you know, fear is based on what might happen. And, the way I implement gratitude online is, you know, the people that I interact with online, I implement gratitude. I compliment them and it comes from a, a space of gratitude, not because I want something. Um, you know, also uh, example beside the books and, you know, surround, surrounding yourself with people that, you know, are like-minded like yourself and listening to CDs online, what you can do is, you know, send someone a video message, up, uplift them, you know, uplift strangers. And by implementing gratitude in my life, it has been healing for me. Yeah. Gratitude well, I gotta is, say gratitude changed my life when I started my healing. Simple process too. Yeah. You don't have to go big, right? It's the small, things that you can be, you know, but grateful. life changing. Yeah. Grateful for each day. How many can you come up with? So let's talk about the fear. Um, we're almost out of time, Barty, but it's really important to talk about the fear because fear is what holds us back. So how do we go after what we want in life if we have fear? Like I said, fear is based on what might happen. And I actually, coach women and help women now to get out of their own way. Uh, we have to get rid of, I hate to say, the people that are toxic in our life mm -hmm. and also the voices, the tapes that are in our heads that we've had for years and, you know, believe in ourselves or even act as if, you know, something good is going to happen. I mean, so many times, um, you know, with, the tapes that I had in my head, you know, I would compare myself as an adult to speaking and so forth. And I would just do it afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the biggest thing is just to do it afraid. Push through it. Right. Right. right? Because fear oh, does. And hire it someone, does. you know, hire a coach or a mentor that can walk you through that. I mean, I hired a coach and a mentor. I could not do it on my own. I mean, mm -hmm. I tried for years to do it on my own, but it's very difficult. 
uh, you need someone that can hold you accountable and someone can walk you through. Asking fears for that. help is so important. Well, so. it's the ask again, right? Yeah, so exactly. Barty, thank you thank so you, much Barty. for being here and helping us recognize how important asking and gratitude is in our life. Thank you, Barty. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We had such a great show. It, I mean, incredible. I mean, this is the thing. It just gets better and better. I know. And you know what? We're learning so much of how we can literally change our health, our mindset, our lives, and our guests are phenomenal. So and it, energy. Energy is it's everything. Energy, nutrition, how we can change so many yeah. aspects of our lives. And to find out more, please go to wakeupwithmarcyandhillary.com. We'll tell you all about our guests there. You can watch the show again. Stay connected with us on social media, please. We have our Wisdom Wednesday. Wisdom Wednesday. Don't, right? don't miss it. You can we get don't. all of your all the questions that you have for us on so, any of the guests. Exactly. Send questions. Go to the website right now. Send us a question, and we'll answer you. So thank you again. Thank you. And everyone, don't forget, wake up every single day to all of your possibilities. We'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.